the playground during story time. The name of the book is called The Good Egg. In group activities and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Take your time. Three and four-year-olds at the Learning Pavilion in Tallahassee are learning how to recognize a range of emotions, regulate them, and refocus when necessary. It is an active way for the kids to incorporate self-help skills throughout their life, starting at an early age. Current statistics show more than 40% of Florida's four and five-year-olds are not ready for kindergarten. These lessons about emotional social learning are linked to improved school performance. Developers say it complements recent legislative efforts to improve early childhood education and school readiness. If students are upset or a child's upset about the argument mom and dad had or the best friend not talking to them or, you know, a child, their toy broke, it can throw their whole day into chaos and their brain is just running as fast as it can. We want to calm that down so that they are able then to take in that information that the teacher is trying to give them, such as their coloring or their ABCs or their numbers. Florida State University social worker Ty Cole developed the curriculum in partnership with the Learning Pavilion Preschool. Understanding what trauma-informed care is, and we throw that word out a lot of times, but we don't make it applicable to the teacher. So what we want it to do is for them to understand not only all these techniques, but how can they use them. And so we make it very simple for the teacher not only to understand these, but how to use them in the classroom. Teachers earn certification after completing 15 modules where they are taught simple techniques such as the finger labyrinth and the hot cocoa breathing exercise four-year-old Elena is demonstrating, far different from the old school timeout and paddle methods. It is great for the kids to be able to have a moment of self-reflection, not necessarily even apart from the group or apart from the situation, but be able to take a deep breath, regulate themselves, try and figure out what's going on. And so it's really teaching those life skills more so than this is a punishment or a reward system. They also receive sample lesson plans, classroom curriculum, toolkits, and resources for parent engagement as well. The certification program for teachers officially launched July 6th. Organizers say the response has already been positive with several early childhood organizations signing up to participate, including the Brevard County School District. The certification is an outgrowth of previous initiatives created to help students impacted by Hurricane Michael in 2018 and the Rebound and Recovery program launched during the pandemic. This particular certification does not require a mental health diagnosis or referral and is geared toward children ages 4 to 11. Here I am, here I am, how do you do? For the Florida Channel, I'm Teresa Marsenberg.